This is a collective reading for the air size signs Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I went ahead and pulled my Fantastical Creatures Tarot cards to give you guys a collective reading. I had two sideways cards, and then I will start with the reversals and do the upright. Um, remember, this could be past, present, or future energy, but I feel like this is a collective read. This could be what's going on now in the energy, okay? So we have the Three of Pentacles, the Hobgoblin. There will be opportunities for you to learn new skills. The Knight of Cups, Manon and Mackler. This relates to a kind but unreliable friend. This is a message of a love or a proposal that could be coming your way, but you may be so deeply involved with someone that you do not see something clearly. In the reverse, I have the Four of Wands. This is the Egyptian Ba. There was a lack of rest or a sorrowful period after an unsuccessful relationship, or this is what is going to happen for you. <clears throat> The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is the Brownies. This is an unsuccessful enterprise regarding a home, job, or relationship. <clears throat> the Hangman is Medusa. A barrier in your life keeps you from moving forward. There's um, stressful living conditions. So there were stressful living conditions due to some sort of barriers that were placed in your path. Then I have the Two of Wands. This is Odin's Ravens. The end result from something that you started may not have been what you had wanted. In the upright, I have the Ten of Wands, the Minotaur. A tangle of events is straightened out, but the outcome may not be to your liking. You feel as if you're carrying a heavy burden. Be certain that you have not taken up anyone else's responsibilities. A new and difficult cycle is coming your way, but you have the strength to handle it well. The Six of Swords is the Japanese Hoho. -ho. You will be traveling across water or moving from one place to another. This could be visits from distant relatives or friends. Any move that you make will be positive. Then I have the Page of Cups, the Nereids. You should carefully consider emotional involvements. This could mean a message of love, engagement, wedding. If you have decided to take an emotional risk, um, but you may not have a guarantee about how it will turn out. So you may have decided to take an emotional risk, but you're not sure how it's going to turn out. The Eight of Pentacles. This is Quetzalcoatl. This card can indicate professional progress and your hard work will bring you rewards or satisfaction. Then I have the Two of Pentacles. This is the Fae of the Fairies. You will have to juggle money or two jobs for a while. You need to make firm financial choices and stick with them. Page of Wands is Circe. Important news or messages come to your attention. Be careful how you use this information. And I have the Five of Pentacles, the Gnomes. There's a danger of possible financial loss because you look for security in the wrong places. Money may be tight for a while. Learn how to heal yourself. The last card that I have from this deck is the Ace of Cups, the Water Fairies. A great, greater awareness of dreamlike messages is possible at this time. Seek out earth energies and nature to bring healing and balance into your life. You will soon enter into a new cycle of emotions, and it is possible a new love affair will present itself, and it's a good time for creative growth. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.